Just so we look at our Amidah in the most organized fashion, the Amidah was instituted originally to have 18 Birachot, and there was a 19th one added for snitches or people who were against the Torah and B'nai Israel specifically. So we have 19 Birachot. If you count, if you open up your Sidur and you count every Bracha, we have exactly 19 Birachot. The way that the Brachot are formulated are that there's the first three, which are a certain type, the last three are a certain type, and then the middle ones. The first three, the Talmud tells us, are Birkot HaShevach. We are praising Hashem. We coming and we're declaring Him as the, the, king, uh, the, uh, our for, the God of our forefathers, the, the God that protects us, Akela Kadosh, the Mechaim Etim, he, uh, re- he's the God who resurrects us at, uh, at the end of time. He's, he's the Almighty and the All-Holy. And then there's the last three, which are thanks. Birkot Hoda'a, that we're thanking HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And, he's, and the Talmud tells us that the order of these Birachot are very specific. First, just like when you do with a human being. First, when you ask something from someone, you first praise them. And then the middle ones, the middle 13 Birachot, are you ask something, you give your request. And then after you get your request, or even if not, even if the requests are pending, then you thank them for their time and for listening to you and hopefully for receiving that, that thing that's being asked for. The same is with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We first start our first three brachot as a praise and then those middle 13 brachot are requests, requests for health, requests for Padmasa, requests for the rebuilding of the Bet HaMikdash and all of the different for Teshuvah, for Selicha. And then we thank HaKadosh Baruch Hu and that is the last three. Since the first three are shevach, praise, there's no room, and according to the halakha, we're not allowed to pray for ourselves in the fact that we're not allowed to request anything then. When we have, even in the first bracha, rofeh holim, somech nofilim, we're not supposed to pray for a specific individual or even for ourselves. That's not the time to pray and ask for rifwa. The time to ask for rifwa is in the eighth bracha. It's later on. So we do see that we're requesting all that. Why is it in there? So listen to what the, um, the Mefarshim explained. They say that when it's a request on the behalf of, the, of a rabim, of a congregation, or to the masses, all of Klal Yisrael, that in itself, when we request something on behalf of Klal Yisrael, that is Shevach of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's a praise for HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So again, just to, to sum it up, the first three brachot is no room for any personal requests or prayers. That's only a collective, all-encompassing, and general praise and request from HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Our personal requests are in the middle of Brachot, and then the last three are when we request from HaKadosh Baruch Hu.